Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the Classic Tycoon here, and we're back for episode two of our Good Goalie Miss Molly Let's Play. Um, in the last one, I mean, as you can see, we've completed the easy mission um, of this section. Um, we're still looking to get our medium difficulty star and then our hard difficulty star. So we'll plan on finishing this up today. We do need to build a coaster still and we'll we'll plan on doing that today as well obviously as it's part of the hard goal so it's only to re reach a monthly profit of three thousand dollars and achieve a park rating of 600 um, the park rating in this game seems to be kind of more of a steady incline than it is like um, or how it is in roller coaster tycoon so in roller coaster tycoon you have a maximum of 999 park rating and that's not the case in this game um it starts out at zero i think and it just goes kind of just goes up unless you really screw up or something that it might come back down but park rating is really pretty easy to get as long as you you know are just improving your your park over time and and considering the guests needs so um we do need to fund a roller coaster here um it's going to take some money to do it, so I think adding one more ride for some steady profit would be a good thing. So let's go ahead and throw in another um, another one of these very intense rides here, the, the most exciting rides. Um, this one's called The Forge, and it's a pretty cool looking ride, so we'll throw this one in here, decorate it up a bit, and then we'll get going on our roller coaster as well. Um, as you can see, I usually open up the ride and then add my foliage and scenery and all that, just so the guests can, can start jumping on it. <clears throat> I don't really adjust the prices of my thrill rides and my gentle rides too much, unless guests are really saying, you know, it's, it's cheap or, you know, things like that. So I generally just keep the prices the same on that I, my philosophy on that will probably change you know as i'm still pretty new to this game um but as of now in these easier scenarios i haven't really found a need to mess with prices too much so we'll just keep decorating this throwing lots of bushes um trees all that around this one making it look like a jungle this this scenario is kind of dinosaur themed, um, so I figured more of a, a jungle type theming seemed to make a little bit more sense to me, so that's what I've been kind of going with with these rides. All right, that's starting to come together nicely right there we'll just fill in a couple of these gaps here um, that look a little bit more empty but yeah you know the park looks still a little bit empty in some parts but I think if I was really just filling out um, every square inch with rides or with different uh, food stalls or whatever and then this would really come together but you know these scenarios aren't really about making a full-on park it's more about completing the the stars right and that's what we're doing so we'll throw a couple more of these bins around and then we'll we'll get going on our our roller coaster in in just a second here one thing i haven't taken much use of in this game is like all the you, know, you just kind of forget about the little things so souvenir shops like this balloon stall right here I haven't really used them at all. While we're at it here, we'll throw in a gulpy shop. And these pre-decorated ones are are good to go with if you don't really want to, you know, mess with decoration yourself. And then of course, just keeping an eye on our staff, making sure they're all happy and and all that. Alright, let's get going on a roller coaster. 
So still need to achieve that park rating. That'll happen uh, pretty, you know, really quite soon here. Um, but looking at our coaster requirements, at least 5.0 excitement, um, no more than 6 nausea. And then there's some other, like, requirements that it said that it needed. But honestly, as I was building this, I didn't even think about the requirements that it was asking me for. Um, and it, it, spoiler alert, it turns out fine. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> I think as long as you just build a decent roller coaster right here, it'll be alright. So this is a, a hyper coaster style, which I am excited to build. So no loops or anything like that, but, um, some nice tall steep drops are what this coaster is going to be very capable of. And they kind of hint that at the beginning. You know, they give you the idea of, of doing a big drop into the ravine. So that's what I'm going to do. There's, we've got this big goalie, right? That's the whole name of the scenario. Um, we're going to do a nice big drop into the goalie. As I tried like five different ways of doing my chain lift here. So right here, I'm just was kind of testing out um, the boundaries. We are gonna need to take out this $10,000 loan in order to do this. It's a pretty pricey coaster, but yeah. So if we wanted to, we can build up over in here. Looks like that is not out of bounds. But we'll do a slight banked turn here, and then into our first big drop. We're just going to do this nice and long, kind of lengthen out the pieces here as we uh, bring it to a, bring the, the drop to an end, pull it back up. And then we'll get our second hill finished up here. So now what I'm going to do is actually bring the track back to the station here. Um, this won't be the end of the roller coaster. I just want to, you know, I'm not as familiar with the physics of this game yet, so I just want to finish up the track and make sure, you know, or, or just test to see like what kind of speeds we're going to be working with. Um, see how well the coaster makes this drop. Is it going too fast at the top? too slow is it gonna make it all all that sort of stuff so I'm gonna do one test to make sure that that's all, all good here so let's see how it, it goes Got a good amount of speed there. That would be a nice, fun drop. Oh, I'm getting stuck on the camera, but looks like it made it just fine. And the speed that it reached there at the top was not, uh, wasn't going too slow. And also, I don't think it was going too crazy fast either. So I'm happy with that drop. We'll delete the, the, the rest of the roller coaster here and, and go back to where we were as we get an achievement here. Uh, so uh, apparently the coaster went over 100 miles per hour <laughs> and it also let's see what this one is great coaster with an 80 meter drop so I guess that was over 80 meters I set mine in feet so I'm not really tracking the meters too much all right so now instead of just you know going flat right there, we're, we're going to have some speed. So I'll, I'll pull up another little hill right here. And then what I'm thinking is doing you know some, some type of helix or something going around um, through this arch. As you see, the coaster is still doing some virtual tests for us here. Which I think is kind of a cool feature. You can, you can leave the coaster testing um, as you're building. 
and that way you'll you know once in a while you'll see the coaster uh, and it will show you you know what it's doing on your your most recent part of your build and you're going to make sure that the coaster is actually making it So something like that. It's not really a helix, it's more of like a, a dropped turn. But I like the look of it. And then we'll pull the coaster back up right here. And we're not gonna make this too long of a coaster. You know, just kind of a fun, uh, fun wrap around like that for the guests. As you see the coaster come around. It's going pretty quick here. But as long as I'm keeping these curves nice and banked, um, I, I don't think it's going too fast or anything. So um, I'll put a hill right here and then finish it up. All right, the coaster's done. It's ready to test. So let's test it out and see how it goes. Oh yeah, um, I did put in a block section right here, as you can see. So I just need to change, you need to make sure to actually change the coaster to having, to working on the block section or else it, it won't do it. All right, here's our final test on the coaster. We, we pretty much already know that the coaster is going to make it as we were, you know, as we saw our tests going as we were building it. You can see our all of our ratings over here. Didn't see anything too crazy in any of the G forces. And same with the fear and nausea. The nausea is staying nice and low. And that excitement rating is staying pretty consistently high there. You can see it's reaching some some tens, even in that back area, so that's good. There we go. 7.18 excitement rating. That's pretty good. Nice low nausea rating and a, a fear rating of uh, 4.88. I think you're looking, you're, you look to get about a 5.0 in your fear ratings is what from what I can tell is what you're looking for. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I think that's actually a, a pretty good coaster right there with the ratings. So we'll get it nice and expensive there. Um, and this coaster, you know, 20 bucks a pop. This thing is going to really be what's gonna complete our, our third star goal here. Um, so we're trying to still get that park rating of 600. It's really, really close. Um, that'll, that'll finish up in a second here. And then our last goal of making, I think, what was it? Uh, $3,000 a month. So our last goal, oh, $6,000 a month, um, con for consecutive months. So... You know, really what I'm going to do is let the game run in fast motion as I name the coaster, do the Dino Blaster, um, and then, you know, this, this thing's going to make some money as we're going. It's really going to add a lot to our profits. Um, so I'll decorate the ride a little bit. We'll also ride the roller coaster itself in the from the guest view to see what that's like. And then we should be able to to wrap it up here. You can see that money going up. I am in four times, or I'm, 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 I've sped up the park and I've sped up my video. I just wanted to check the monthly profit. You can see how it's going right there already reaching up above that 6,000 mark right there. Getting up over into the 8,000. So that's making plenty um, and it's not gonna dip down below. 
So there we go. We're, we're into the next month. I think we're we're at a point that it's safe to just let the park run. We've basically completed that goal. We'll pay off our loan right there, as you can see. Um, and then, you know, we'll decorate this roller coaster a little bit. One thing I did try to do here was just copy and paste some dinosaurs, but the game did not let me do that, and I didn't see any dinosaurs anywhere within the scenery. So that's unfortunate, you know, I saw all these dinosaurs, I thought maybe I could make use of them myself, but um, I guess that's not possible right now. So that all looks pretty good right there. Um, we do have some cool, like, this is a dry ice machine. Oh, wait, no, this is a smoke machine right here. So I, I kind of thought, you know, putting that there might make it look like a some sort of geyser or something. We'll have some, um, some different smoking effects around, you know, making it look kind of misty. right here I was I was really just kind of experimenting with what you know with what the possibilities were here all right so the guests look like they've stopped complaining about you know the ride having no scenery so why don't we give the ride an actual you know first person's perspective ride right here. I do really like the hyper coaster train. I like the, the glass and you can see the track underneath the coaster as you're going. I think that's pretty cool. Oh. There we go. Seems a little quick going into the station platform, but from actually what I've like read on Reddit and stuff, that is a little bit more of a good thing in this game than a bad thing. Um, I guess kind of like having a hard stop at the station platform, and, and sometimes that'll actually be beneficial to your excitement rating and your fear rating. So we've definitely well overachieved on our hard goal of sustaining that six thousand dollars a month for two months so here we go we're wrapping it up my heartiest congratulations on your completion of that coaster some of the drops on it really took my breath away as well as my phone curse my love of selfies yes i am extremely satisfied with how the ride turned out too it was so exciting to see how you dealt with the regulatory restrictions in concert with the height requirement. Oh, the main thing is, it's making money hand over fist. Ooh, yeah, on that subject, I think I mentioned something about getting a cut of the profits earlier. No? Right, there we go. So yeah, um, the coaster requirements were nothing too crazy. You know, I just kind of built the roller coaster and it turned out well. So, that's good. All right, guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the roller coaster. Let me know what you thought about it. And we'll get going on the next section of the career mode next time. See you guys then. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like to support the channel more, consider becoming a member. Um, it's just a small donation monthly that goes to my channel and it would help me to make much better and more regular content in the future.
Again, thanks for all the support. See you guys next time.